today I have a short lesson in fake news. It goes like this. CTV News, CBC News, and Global News had a two-year-long three-ring circus over Mike Duffy allegedly expensing 92, no, not million, thousand dollars inappropriate expensing as a senator. Ninety-two thousand dollars Two whole years on the news. Now, this was before the court case even happened. There's supposed to be a law in Canada that you're innocent until proven guilty. But according to CTV News and CBC News and Global News, who ran a two-year-long smear campaign against Mike Duffy before he was even convicted of the crime. When it finally went to court, he was found completely innocent of all wrongdoing. Now I would like to divert your attention to something else. Krista Freeland, our finance minister who took over for the crooked Bill Morneau who had to step down because of his crooked dealings. Christia Freeland just got her hands on two billion dollars. That's right. A billion dollars is a thousand million. She got two of those in our tax dollars. That's a heck of a lot more money than $92,000 that Mike Duffy didn't do anything illegal. CBC, CTV, and Global News seem to be silent, completely silent, all crickets on the Western Front. Two billion dollars expensed in this economy where the Liberal Party has ran us into a 40-year high in inflation because of their drunken sailor spending. And Christia Freeland got two billion dollars to invest in a company that does not exist. She did this with the support of all the brain dead minions in Ottawa. And the mainstream media has nothing to say. She is completely guilty of illegal expensing. How? How could anyone give this crazy person two billion dollars to invest in a company that does not exist in today's economy? How does this happen? How is the media silent? This is pure insanity. This must be stopped. These people must go to prison or at very least their political careers must be over. Justin Trudeau, all his ministers, the Liberal Party, the NDP Party with Jagmeet Singh, every single one of them should be kicked to the curb and anyone who supported him, if that's Yves Blanchett and his Bloc Party, if that is Elizabeth Manor Green Party, all these people must be kicked to the curb. They are not qualified to run a lemonade stand.